Hey everyone, it's Katina Gaines and I hope everyone day has been going great. Today we are building in an apartment for a married couple that are pretty hippie, hipster type, <laughs> and pretty laid back since both of them work in the teaching field, which in this build you will see, they live pretty humble with no real fancy decor, but a very comfortable lifestyle. It's more of a realistic apartment style, I guess. But yeah, the cool twist that I love adding to my personal gameplays is that the male sim has a niece that recently moved in with them. She recently moved in because her parents went missing. Well, her parents went missing because they're actually part of the criminal career, so they're pretty much on the run from the police. So will they come back? Who knows? As for the teen, she thinks they're on a business trip but deep down she knows something isn't right. So yes, I'm a bit extra when it comes to creating gameplays for myself. <laughs> My storylines can be kinda crazy, but it makes it super fun for the sims. I might even make a gameplay for you all in the near future. I just haven't decided on what interesting storyline I wanted to create for you all, but mix it into a legacy challenge. Anyway, back to the apartment. This apartment is in Semi Shino, it's not super big, it's pretty decent in size for 2 bedrooms and 2 bathrooms. Again, it's not super fancy, it's pretty much a throwback, comfortable feel. More of a realistic apartment. But yeah, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more builds in the future. I would love to see you there. For instance, this kitchen here is a little bit older in style, it's a bit orangey. It's actually pretty different from my normal kitchen styles, but I really love how this all worked together. It's super homey, I can see a lot of home cooked meals being done here. I just think it's super cute. I kept the dining area super easy and simple that actually matches the kitchen. Since this whole area is open concept, my goal was to make it all kind of work together in colors. But yeah, most of these items that you see here are actually from the Parenthood stuff pack. Ooh, wait, it's the game pack. Parenthood game pack. The items in this game pack is simply Chef Kiss. I love all of them for the most part. As for the gameplay, it's meh. Like the game pack itself makes sense, I just wish it was more fleshed out. The choices that the sims make sometimes doesn't make an impact for the sims as they grow. Like yeah, you see the bars are changing but you really have to control your sims in order to those changes. However, that's simply my opinion. This isn't sponsored. I mean, I will give my honest opinion, I will only buy this game if it's on sale. I will help people save money and tell you what's worth spending your money on and what's not. <laughs> but yeah, back onto this build, we are working in the living room. So the color scheme of this living room, I absolutely love it. But I realized like later on, this style, although it's cute, it doesn't fit the whole room. So I do end up changing it later. Basically, you all are seeing me working in my comfort zone, where I know these colors will always work together and look so well. So fast forward to work into this hallway, I added a bookshelf here because they do love to read and they are working in the teaching profession. Although I do love that bookcase, I do end up switching that out for something a little bit more simple. I added this long end table here with a cute mirror on top. I kind of wish we had more mirrors in the game just because I love this one mirror and I use it all the time. It's open, it's wide, and it always perfectly centers when I need it to. Of course I added some clutter items right here, nothing crazy. I added items as if you were to walk by, you would normally see them. I added this storage area right here with some plastic containers as those teachers are coming home from work and they have tests to grade, but they're too exhausted to even worry about them since they just got home. <laughs> And here you'll see me add some rugs. I don't know how I forget them, but I do sometimes. <laughs> so I'm adding them in because I don't like my floors being completely bare like that. So back to the living room. I decided to go with this funky style green couch and matching chairs. One, I never used this style before and two, it matches the hallway runner rug with the greens. I thought it would be a cool quirky addition. And then I am quickly adding a laundry area. I love these orange washer and dryer sets just a quick laundry room then moving on to the additional bathroom so I made this bathroom specifically for the teen I feel like she was going through enough so I made it based off of her favorite color which happens to be purple plus I don't think I've ever made a purple bathroom before I usually keep my bathrooms a pretty general for all sim ages to use but considering what she's going through currently and losing her parents pretty much I felt like her uncle and her aunt would be doing the most to help her feel comfortable my goal was to make this bathroom fitting for a teen so it's a little bit more hipster and modern in style oh I am also adding some items for her new pet dog that her uncle surprised her with when she came home from school I chose to go with a German Shepherd besides the fact that I do love German Shepherd but they're known for being protectors and very good with kids. Plus I felt like it would give her some comfort. 
Now moving on into her bedroom. I was super excited to build in this room just because I've never built a purple bedroom before. I've done turquoise, I've done minty blues and pinks. So I really wanted to use the color purple besides the fact that it's her favorite color. I love her bedroom because it's a little bit spunky, it's a little spicy, it's not super girly. She's pretty smart and she's made two best friends as she recently moved. Although her bedroom isn't super big, I feel like it's perfect in size. She's able to still study, do her homework, and being a teenager can be pretty hard at times. I know for me, it was pretty rough. <laughs> where you have friends but you don't have friends. I walked into high school having 10 friends, I came out with one. You get older and you realize that sometimes people will use you, but that's a story for another time. Leave a comment below on whether you liked or disliked high school. I just know I was ready to graduate. But yeah, her bedroom has a very artistic style since she really has been starting to get into artistic work. She's finding a lot of comfort in drawing and sketching. As you will see that I'm adding a lot of sketching like artwork onto her walls that really expresses how her mindset is going. But overall, she's a pretty good kid that just happens to be born with parents who works in the criminal field. And now we are moving over to the master bedroom. So I brought back the color orange, but I also felt trapped to sticking to my comfort zone of using creams and whites in the color gray. I tried my best to not use the bed with the undone comforter that touches the ground that's not tucked in like all the rest of the beds. So I decided to go with this one. I wanted this bedroom to be comfortable but yet cute. There would be a lot of wood tones and orange and green to this bedroom. Just like the living room and the entryway hallway. Again, my goal was to kind of sync all these rooms up and have a nice flow between each one. I also kind of wish we had more wall paintings. I feel like I go and use the same ones all the time just because they're super reliable. It gets the job done but at the same time I feel like they can be overused. But yeah, most of this room is from the seasons expansion pack. Oh, and just in case some are curious, the bedroom for the teen all the items for the most part are from the high school years expansion pack. I like to mention it just because I know a lot of people really love that canopy that only comes in that one expansion pack. And I'll be honest, I love it too. So I use it for all of my builds, just about. And now that I completed both of the bedrooms, we are now heading on over to the master bathroom. I went with this wallpaper because it's not super fancy, it's pretty simple, and it prevented me from making this bathroom super fancy. <laughs> I have the tendency to make my bathrooms for my sims pretty luxurious, so I kept myself in check for once. And I use a color scheme of green and grays, that way it's not too crazy, where each adult sim has their own personal color touch that they really love. And officially, finally, we are moving out to the balcony, which I forgot that this specific apartment had. But yeah, this balcony is pretty simple and I added these cute little flower boxes on the metal railings to give it a more detailed touch. But yeah, that's pretty much the build for this apartment. I will try to figure out how to upload this to the gallery. I've never actually uploaded an apartment onto the gallery before, but I'll see if I can figure out how to do it. But yeah, these are the screenshots. Again, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more builds and I would love to see you there. Thank you all for watching and I'm wishing you all a fantastic, amazing day. Bye everyone.